Hello. Have you guys ever seen this much hair? Yeah. I haven't either, except in my own head. Um, I have yet to meet a person with this much hair. And I'm gonna show you guys my hair routine and how I take care of my hair. Night edition. This is my nighttime hair and beauty routine. So the first step is always brush out my hair, hence the volume. After I brush my hair, I'm gonna do some oils. Right now, I'm just gonna do some argan oil on my scalp and roots, just for hydration purposes. And I'm gonna leave it on for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna shower. It's a little hair, but I still don't use that much product because yeah, I just use honestly a few pumps and I do a scalp massage. It's been around 30 minutes and I have let this sit on my hair. I sometimes let it overnight, but I want to wash my hair tonight because I can't stand it. I can't stand it anymore. Usually, like I said, I would wait until morning, but enough is enough. Hello, this is me in the shower. First, I wet my hair and then I go in with my Cetaphil face wash. I cleanse very gently, as you can see. Mm, that was sarcasm. <laughs> then I exfoliate. Before you guys come at me for using Head & Shoulders, I really needed this because my hair was super, super dirty. And then I did go in with my regular shampoo to hydrate. And I use conditioner as always. I'm having a hard time with the bottle, but there it goes. Aw, cut to my cat being cute. Then I clean my hairbrush and I shampoo once again because my hair was indeed super dirty. I just finished my shower and I'm about to put some Cetaphil lotion all over my body because hydrating your body when it's wet it's the best thing that you can do. First, I'm gonna do my face routine. Face is lotion. Oh my god. It's basically like a toner. So, my dermatologist gave me this, but it's basically a toner. So, moisturizer, like this area mostly. For the acne treatment, I do benzoyl peroxide, 5%. And just like a cream that I just like basically just put on my cheek and a little bit on my forehead because my cheeks are my problem areas. Now back to the hair. I'm going to start styling my curls with flaxseed gel, which is basically also for hydration because I need my hair to be as hydrated as I can. I don't use too much. Like you see, you see this amount. Be careful with it because it spills. You just kind of like, I just kind of brush it through. Oh my God, I just got some in my eye. It's okay. <laughs> I just brush, brush like it through my hair. Probably gonna end up using all of this, but I go little by little. I put on this dirty shirt and I'm just brushing the gel through my hair. After I go in with this spray, which is like a hydrating mask, just spray it on my hand. Same, I just brush it through. If your hair starts getting dry, I usually just spritz it with water. Here comes the fun part, just scrunching. And because it's nighttime, I'm just not going to define my curls that much because I can't be bothered. I'm lazy and tired, so I'm just going to diffuse my hair while I'm reading a book, laying down in bed. Yes, I'm currently reading Reaper at the Gates, third book in the Ember and the Ashes series. <laughs> dry I put a little bit of oil I use this black of yarn silk protein brand and I just do like a few pumps in my hand and that's it this sound went all crazy here but I'm basically saying that I use it to lock in the hydration in my hair oh, my hair and then my last step in my routine is to put it in a silk cap I grab my hair really like loosely so I don't lose the curl pattern and and I'm ready to go to bed so thank you guys for watching my nighttime routine for hair care 
and a little bit of skincare. Subscribe for more videos. And yeah, thanks for watching.